Hi guys, it's me, Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. 8.42 a.m., 51 degrees, 77% humidity, and the barometer is 30.21 and steady. I don't know what to say, folks. <clears throat> I do have a joke. I want to tell you, I, I, I thought of one yesterday and that's i'm running out though i'm running out the news what's going on in the news i'll tell you the news is you know this program is is not working and and i don't know why i can't imagine it's so well scripted and well produced in my studio here in texas look, look at this i mean what more could you ask for I mean, a 26-foot RV? Come on. What do you want? Anyway, this is the dark side of the moon over here, and this is the bright side of the moon. And the reason is the sunlight's shining in here, and my interior lights aren't bright enough. And that's just the way it is, okay? But anyway, one of the biggest stories happened yesterday, apparently, is what they call the Panama Papers. And that's not toilet paper. Mm -mm. New, 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 new. You know, we've known. I used. To, I was a CPA for 20 years, a certified public accountant in the USA for 20 years, and I stopped that profession when I, in the early 90s. Well, I was. I went in the Peace Corps in '94, so I guess it was when I got back. When I got back from the Peace Corps, I didn't want to do it anymore, and I didn't. But I did learn a lot about how people, what trouble people will go to to hide money from the tax man. And they'll go to a lot of trouble. And they're good at it. If you don't believe me, go to Grand Cayman. It's a little island off the Florida coast. or well, it's, it's pretty far out there. But it's uh, Grand Cayman. Not Grand Canyon, but Grand Cayman. C-A-Y-M-A-N. There are 535 banks on that island. You got me? 535. Well, they're all in a little building about about the size of a not uh, about a fourth of a city block. That's where they all are. They're just electronic transfer places. That's all. You know, there's only four or five trustees that run all of those banks because I asked. I went in there. I was on the island of Grand Cayman. And I got curious, and I wanted to know about these banks. And so I went up and knocked on the, didn't knock on the door. You just go in. And I met one of the trustees. He was from England. <clears throat> he told me all about it. He said, yeah, you just sit here and do these transfers. And money comes in, goes out, comes in, goes out. And uh, that's it. And uh, But he said, you almost have to be born into it. You're not going to just apply for a job there and get it. Well, anyway, that's kind of what all this Panama Papers is about. Uh, what they, what has happened is, apparently, somebody must have made somebody pretty angry. Because when you start releasing information like that, you get hurt. You can get hurt. And because uh, you're, you're stepping on some big toes. And so what that tells me is, is somebody with bigger toes decided to step on somebody with littler toes. And uh, anyway, it's happening. It's a good story. And it's got what they call legs. It'll go on forever. Uh, this one will go on for months. It'll be like WikiLeaks. Uh, then, of course, we've got Cruz and Trump, blah, blah, blah. Uh, same yesterday. Anyway, I'm going to be quick on this because I got a joke. A joke takes three or four minutes. But I'll look at these stories and we'll see if there, there's a Clinton one. Ha, ha, ha. Clinton, Bernie fight over New York debate. Whatever that means. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, well, you know, it's, it's amazing. It's just all crap. Anyway, let's see what I got here on my, on my news. On my news, I have all this electronic gear. See, I, I this is a big production. You don't realize, you don't realize who, you, who you're watching here. I'm telling you, I am impotent. I mean, important. 
Uh, okay, news. Here we go. Here it comes, folks. News. The Daily 202. Crews expected victory. Da, 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 da. Panama Papers. Mass protests in Iceland demanding PM's, Prime Minister's, resignation. Apparently he got, he got caught. But he wasn't the only one, folks. He was not the only one. Uh, move over Chromecast. Roku's faster $50 stick looks like the best streaming value yet. Well, you know what? I have a Roku streaming stick. And this, it's got a little controller like this. And that's why it beats the crap out. I looked at the Chromecast. Mm -mm. This is, Roku's better because with, with Chromecast, you got to use your smartphone. And uh, what else? Uh, da 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 da. Yeah, there, here's what here. Th this guy did a story. It's called Mike M I C. That's the name of the publication, I guess. You might you can find it on the internet. But uh, they did they did a story on the Panama paper leaks, and they have an interactive map that shows where all the money is hiding. <laughs> I'm not shitting. It's yeah. You got to check that out. Yeah, the name of the publication, I think, or, or internet site is MIC. And Panama Papers League. Yeah, check that one out. You get a kick out of that. It's hiding everywhere, folks. It's billions, billions. You know, but we've known about that. Hell, we, we have corporations in the U.S. that stick money in the Cayman. You know, they move it around. You know, Trump talks about it every now and then, getting all that money back into the U.S., uh, it could happen, but it's going to take some real uh, smooth moves to get it done. Suspicious activity at North Korea nuclear site, U.S. think tank reports. All right, let's imagine that this thing right here is a think tank, okay? How in the hell is it going to report? This is a think tank, a tank, you understand? Anyway, actually what that is, that's a holder for beer, and it's stainless steel. You got me? And it's really good. It cost me 20 bucks, but you, it keeps beer cold. It's not like one of those little cheap styrofoam things, the little rubber one. No, no, no. This one works. Yeah, you can get it over the internet. Can't, can't read the name. I can't remember who makes it. Thermos, T-H-E-R-M-O-S, Thermos. Yeah, check it out. It's got a little deal up here. You have to get some, this thing's going to come loose after you have it for a while, but uh, you can take some super glue and put it around there and got it back. But no, it's perfect. It, and it'll, you, you can set a beer out in the sunlight with this thing for an hour. It'll stay cold. It works. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, suspicious activity at North Korea nuclear site U.S. think tank reports. Well, what, what's happening is they're moving something. What? We don't know. But the bomb, the bomb, no, the bomb, the bomb. You realize in 1950, people were building bomb shelters in Kennedy, Texas, my hometown. You hear me? Really? We had drills at school where you'd go get under your desk. You hear me? Yeah. They, they'd do it like a, a fire drill, and you'd have to get out of your desk and get under, down the floor and put your hands behind your head. Now, you think that's going to protect you from a nuclear blast? <laughs> Shit! I mean, they find you in that position, like those people in the that got hit by the volcano in that country. What was it? Uh, what was? I can't even remember the name of the volcano, but the people were like, Bleh. anyway, that's what will happen when you get hit by a uh, nuclear blast. But anyway, the bomb, the bomb, the bomb. That, that whenever you say the bomb, people read it. Okay, we're going to get through this quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh. Don't forget the fan funding. Nobody's done it yet. I mean, I, I, I just want to see if it works. It's in the upper right hand of the screen. You'll see a little eye. Click on it. Treasury Department tries again to stop companies from giving up U.S. citizenship for lower taxes. Well, hell, Pfizer's doing it. You know, they, all, all these companies do it. Do you realize that corporations in the United States now have the same rights as citizens because the Supreme Court ruled that they were, quote, almost, they were human. 
basically is what the ruling was. Yep, they did that. Our Supreme Court did. I, I wonder, never mind. You know, we're supposed to have three branches of government. We're supposed to have the legislative, the executive, and the ju ju judiciary. Uh, actually, what you've got is one. The, the, you've got corporations with big bucks, and that's the government. That is it. Okay, a uh, lot of da da da. Y'all need to check out that Elio, the little car, E L I O, a three wheel car. Uh, it go to their website, it's pretty neat. And uh, now they're talking about 5G again. 5G just means fifth generation, 3G, third generation, 4G, fourth generation. I've said it before. Uh, how much time we got? Okay, I'll get to the joke. Uh, I keep up with uh, airships. God, you know, they're beautiful. you got to see some of these giant things. Do, do a Google search for airships, one, one word, airships, and you're going to see some of the neatest things you've ever seen. These things are huge. I mean, huge. I mean, you can take a trip on those and really enjoy it. Here's something else I thought about, too. I was reading about, or actually I was watching some of the videos about the protesters at the Trump rallies. I I couldn't imagine why anybody was protesting Trump. I mean, hell, all he's trying to do, it seems like to me, is bring jobs back and keep the Mexicans out from crossing the Rio Grande. And I live in Texas, not too far from the Rio Grande. And, uh, yeah, they come across there all the time. And uh, and some of them are dangerous. Some of them hurt you because they don't have anything to lose. But, but they're not coming up from Mexico. They're coming up from El Salvador, Guatemala, Colombia, you know, and, and some of them bad. Some of them are bad dogs. And they hurt you. And, yeah, we've had some people killed in this area. Had an old couple in their 70s. Uh, this happened about two years ago. They lived out in the country. They found them both dead. Dead. They'd been beaten to death. Beaten. Beat. Beaten. Well, anyway, they caught the two hombres. And, uh, and then all the crap started. Oh, no, no, you're violating their civil rights. Anyway, I don't know what happened to them. They disappeared. In this, in this county... You do something like that, you just disappear. That's all. That's the end of that shit. But anyway, I was watching the protesters at the uh, Trump rallies, and I was noticing that the majority of them are black. I don't know why they were protesting. I really don't. I mean, they're, you know, they were, oh, no, they got signs, you know, discrimination, discrimination. That's their thing. Discrim racism, racism, discrimination. God damn. I mean, they got to get tired of that shit. I'm sure there's 90% of them that think that's the silliest bunch of shit in the world. But, you know, one of the things I noticed, I, I was listening to the protesters. They tried to hear what they were chanting. None of them were saying they wanted jobs. None of them. Nobody, none of them were out there saying, we want jobs. We want jobs. None of them. You know why? They don't want them. Mm -mm. They don't want no jobs. They want the federal government to dole out that money, that what they're afraid of is Trump, he, he's not going to cut back on the welfare programs, but he's going to make them qualify for them, and he's going to make them take drug tests. Well, guess what? A lot of them probably can't pass a drug test. You, you hear me? Anyway, but the, the black protesters, they're not complaining about jobs. Listen to what they say. They're not saying anything about jobs or, or anything that would be a political issue. It's all the same old shit. Tired of it. And you know what? That's what the Trump movement's all about. All the Anglos and Mexicans and Chinese and everybody else is tired of that shit because they go in and tear up your business in a protest and uh, or burn down your house or, or burn your car or break out all the windows in it and nothing happens to them. Anyway, the joke. The joke. You're going to have to go back to, i got to do a Google search right quick, for the Notre Dame, N-O-T-R-E-D-A-N-E, -E, Cathedral. Now, there we go. The Notre Dame Cathedral is in Paris. 
and it was formed in uh, 1163. Okay, here we go. It was it was built in 1163. I'm just getting you in position, so you got to be in the historical frame of mind to appreciate this joke. Uh, yeah, it opened in 1345. It's 315 feet high, and that'll be important in my joke. And uh, anyway, it's got a bell in the bell tower. Okay, here we go. Let me get out of this. Now we know where we are. Construction was started in 1163. That was before I was born. But you know, that's right when Chinggis Khan was taking over all of the known world, basically. Because I, I learned a lot about him when I was in Mongolia. They were, they were tough people. They were. They were mean bastards. Anyway, <clears throat> El Joko. In the year 1300, at Notre Dame Cathedral, there was a bell ringer there named Quasimodo. Every day, Quasimodo would go up the 315 steps to the top of that tower and pull that rope to ring that gigantic bell. Anyway, he had done it for about 40 years, 50 years. He was getting old and it was time for him to retire. So they told him to find a replacement. So he put the word out that he was looking for somebody to replace him as the bell ringer at Notre Dame Cathedral. And he was up in the tower waiting for the guys to come that wanted to interview for the job. And he waited, and he waited, and he waited, and he waited. Nobody came. Nobody. Finally, finally, toward the end of the day, here comes this little old midget, about three feet tall, about this tall, you know, just a little old midget. And he said he wanted that job. And, and Quasimodo said, man, you know, this is hard. You know, look at me. I'm a big guy. And you know, I've got a, I'm a hunchback, but, uh, I mean, you got to pull this rope and move that big bell to make it ring. You know, you got to, you got to, got to do that. And anyway, he was, he was going on to explain how difficult it was. Anyway, the little, the little uh, midget runs and jumps and hits the bell with his face and rings it. And uh, anyway, Quasimodo said, well, yeah, that's that's real good, guy. I mean, we're real happy for you, but, you know, you got to do it. You got to ring this bell sometimes five times a day. Anyway, by the time he said that, the little midget run up there, jumped up, hit the bell again with his face, and rang it again. And Quasimodo thought, God damn, you know, I, I, this guy, I, I hate to tell him he can't have the job, but, you know, he's just not qualified. Well, anyway, just as he was fixing to tell the little midget, no way, he turned around, the little midget ran, jumped, missed the bell, went out the tower window, fell 315 feet, <laughs> splat. Oh, no, Quasimodo thought. God damn, poor thing. So anyway, Quasimodo hunchbacks down to 315 steps and comes out... <clears throat> By the time he got there, the, the crowd had already formed around the, the little midget splattered on the ground. And uh, anyway, Quasimodo hunches over there and gets close to the body. And, and uh, the police were there, of course. And uh, Quasimodo's looking at the little midget. And the policeman says, Qu Quasimodo, do, do you, do you, do you know, know this guy? And Quasimodo leans over and looks at him and says, "No, uh, I don't. I don't know him, but but his face rings a bell." <laughs> his face rings a bell. And that's the last joke I've got, folks. I'm running out. His face rings a bell. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Don't forget, try the fan funding, one of you guys out there. Just, it's up in the upper right. There'll be a little eye, a little eye thing in the upper right. 
click on it and put one dollar. I just want to see if it works. I just want to see if it works. I mean, I can't even get anybody to try it to see if it works. That shows how good my shows are. Okay, Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA, April the 5th, 2016. Thumbs up to you guys. You have a good day. I'm going to have one. And as soon as I get a break, I've got these tasties. I think I got 10, or no, I've got seven tasting events this month. But when I get a weekend free, then I'm going to go camping in my Prius, I think. I think I am. I really do. And I'll do a video about that. That'll be something different. But anyway, thumbs up. Enjoy the day. Carpe diem. Seize the day. And I'm not going to do it. Not today. This is not another. Where's the thing? Oh, there it is. Bye-bye. <laughs>